Ah, uh, good morning world, I definitely needed some rest after having to work on almost 50 documents yesterday, but at least this work trip to Toronto is finally over since today is supposed to be the day where I head back to Calgary now. But wait a second, I just remembered that before I went to bed yesterday, I set the alarm clock in here to wake me up at 6 so I could make it to the airport early. I wonder why it didn't go off, but I guess I should go check the time so I can make sure I don't miss my flight back to Calgary. Wait, what, 8.50, my flight's supposed to leave the airport in 10 minutes, I'd better hurry out of bed now so I can make it there before 9. Excuse me madam, I made it here as fast as I possibly could because I accidentally slept in, I'm supposed to be on Air Canada Flight 970 to Calgary, so please just tell me the plane hasn't taken off yet as I really want to go back home to see my son again. Oh dear, well sir, I'm very sorry to say but your plane left 30 minutes ago, you should have came here a little bit earlier so you wouldn't have missed your flight. Wait, what, no, this can't be true. How else am I supposed to get back to Calgary now, I just want to go home and see my son again. Hey there, excuse me, but is Air Canada Flight 970 still here? I'm supposed to be heading to Calgary but I accidentally lost track of time, so can you please just tell me the plane's still here as I really want to go back home? No, I'm very sorry madam, but your plane departed over 30 minutes ago. I just got done telling that to this guy right here as he was supposed to be on the same flight. Oh dear, you gotta be kidding me, how else am I possibly supposed to get directly back to Calgary now? Hey wait a second, guy wearing the tank top, I just thought of another way on how we can both travel back to Calgary together, but it's probably not 100% convenient though. Wait, what, what on earth are you even talking about lady? Flying is literally the only good option around here to get directly to Calgary. Wait, what the, hey, where are we going madam? You'll see, by the way, my name is Natalie, what's your name sir? Um, my name is Paul, but can you please just explain on where you're taking us already? Alright Paul, so basically, my plan is that we're gonna ride a TTC bus to Toronto Union Station, and once we get there... I'll buy us train tickets so that way we can use Via Rail to travel back to Calgary. Wait, what, Via Rail? But they don't even serve Calgary, Natalie. So how is Via possibly gonna help us get back home if we can't go directly to Calgary with them? Yes, Paul. I know Via Rail doesn't go to Calgary but I was thinking we could use them for most of the way back home. My plan is basically that we'll take Via Rail to Edmonton since that's the closest we can get to Calgary. And then once we arrive in Edmonton... We'll take a Red Arrow Coach Line bus to carry on the rest of the journey after that. Oh, you've gotta be kidding me, Natalie. It'll take like days to get back to Calgary now. I was really hoping to be back home this evening so I could be with my son Teddy again. Oh, look at that, Paul. The bus is here now. Time for us to head to Toronto Union Station. All right, you stupid idiots. Just hurry up and get on my bus already. I'm having a very bad and stressful day so far and I would certainly appreciate it for you guys to not make it worse. You both have three seconds to get on my bus or else I'm out to here. Oh my freaking god, wow, that has got to be the rudest bus driver I have ever seen. What kind of driver would just threat to ditch and call their passengers stupid idiots like that? I know right Paul? I wonder what that poor driver's been going through if he's just gonna be extremely rude to his riders like that. Yeah, but anyways Natalie, I'm gonna go give my son Teddy a call now to let him know that I won't be returning back home this evening since we're using Via Rail to go back to Calgary. Excuse me sir, but is there any way you can make this train go to Calgary? No, I'm very sorry sir. But we haven't landed a train to Calgary since 1990. Wait, what? 1990? That was literally the year I was born. So you're telling me that Via Rail used to serve Calgary but it no longer does. Why on earth did they stop? Look man, I don't know. I don't make the rules around here. I have no idea on what via rail was even like in the 90s because I was also born in 1990. 
I'm just a conductor who's supposed to collect people's tickets. So can you please give me your tickets and body the train already so the other people behind you can do the same. Alright then sir, here's our tickets to Edmonton. Hola, it looks like everyone has boarded the train now. So, all about it. What the hell was that? Oh great Jenny, what did you do here? Just look what you did. You caused the fucking locomotive to break down. Uh, shut up Kevin. I don't know. I was in the middle of sleeping when the locomotive broke down. Can you please just let me go back to sleep already? I'm so tired. Attention via rail riders. Our leading locomotive has unfortunately broken down so we're gonna have to ask everyone to step off the train until we can get a replacement engine to carry on the journey to Vancouver. We appreciate your cooperation and sincerely apologize for the inconvenience. Oh you've gotta be kidding me, can this journey trying to get back home to Calgary possibly get any more worse? Ah, oh, what a nice day it is to just be driving a train. The weather looks great out there doesn't it Kendall? Yeah, I agree with you Jack. The weather's looking so beautiful today. But wait a second, what the heck is going on with that via rail train up ahead? Why is it stopped? I don't know Kendall, but I think I can see a bunch of smoke coming out of the leading F40PH locomotive. I'm gonna go stop our train so we can make sure the people on board the via rail train are doing okay. Excuse me you two via rail engineers. Me and my co-engineer Kendall were on our way to take a train with 103 boxcars to Vancouver, but we couldn't help but notice your train just parked here in the middle of the line and your F40PH locomotive with a bunch of smoke coming out of it. So, is everything okay? Ugh, no. Everything is going terrible right now. My stupid sleepy co-engineer Jenny must have been messing with the controls in her sleep because she caused our fucking locomotive to break down about 20 minutes ago. I don't know what to do now and I literally still don't understand on why Via Rail thought it would be a great idea to hire her in the first place. Oh dear, that sounds awful, I'm very sorry to hear that, but I'll tell you what, how about me and my co-engineer dispatch someone to tow your train so you can get your locomotive repaired in Saskatoon, and then we can let your passengers stay in some of our boxcars so they can continue their journey to their desired destinations. Wait, what? No Jack, no, that's literally the worst idea I've ever heard you come up with. You're gonna get us fired if we let these via rail passengers stay in our boxcars. I'm also pretty sure it's not even legal for people to ride aboard freight trains. Oh come on Kendall, we can't just leave these poor via rail passengers stranded out here in the middle of nowhere. I'm sure nobody at the rail yards will mind if we tell them why we're gonna do this. So let's give them a hand by letting them ride in some of our boxcars. We definitely have plenty of room in there to spare for them. Alright Kendall, it looks like everyone has successfully boarded the boxcars now, so, all aboard. Ugh, man, I can't believe I'm riding on a literal freight train so I can get back to Calgary. This journey has literally become a total disaster as I should have been back home with Teddy two days ago. I know right Paul, I'm not enjoying this journey at all one bit anymore, it's literally so dark and cramped in this boxcar, can this adventure possibly get any more worse? 
I just can't wait to arrive in Edmonton so we can take a red arrow bus back to Calgary already. Oh no, um, guys, I really hate to say this, but I think I have to go to the bathroom. My stomach is hurting so bad right now. What? Are you fucking kidding me, Gerald? Why didn't you just go while we were still on the via rail train? Yeah, I agree with David. We're very sorry, Gerald, but you're just gonna have to hold it in until we get off the CN train. I don't want the boxcar to smell like shit for the rest of the time we're in here. Look, I'm very sorry David, Tyler, and the other two people in here, but I don't think I can hold it in any longer as my stomach is in so much pain right now, I think I'm about to... Alright, it looks like Canadian National Train 8100 is finally here now. Time to unlock the boxcars so I can start unloading them. Oh dear god, you, gross, why on earth does this boxcar smell like diarrhea, I think I'm about to throw up now after smelling that. Oh thank god we can finally get out of that stinky boxcar now, I literally couldn't handle the smell of that guy's crap any longer, this has got to be the worst train ride I've ever been on in my life. Yeah Gerald, I agree with what that other guy said, that was so disgusting. What the fuck is wrong with you man? Look, I'm very sorry I had to do the David and Tyler. It's not my fault that my stomach was hurting so badly. Can we please just move on and forget this ever happened? Absolutely not Gerald. There's no way I want to be friends with you anymore after seeing what a gross person you really are. You should be lucky that none of us threw up once throughout the rest of the train ride. Hey, what the heck are you all doing here in our rail yard? This is not a public gathering area. This is Canadian national property, all five of you need to leave right now or else I'll report you all to the police. Okay okay, calm down sir, we'll leave the train yard right now, we were actually just about to do that before you showed up. Well Paul, I can't believe after all what we've been through throughout the past few days, this is the moment where we finally have to say goodbye to each other now. Yeah, I know right Natalie? This was certainly the worst and the most craziest journey of my entire life, but you still managed to get us back home to Calgary and I really appreciate it. Yeah, but you know, if either of us ever end up going on a crazy journey again, let's go first class next time Paul. Well, okay then Natalie, but I obviously hope there isn't a next time. Ha ha ha, yeah, don't worry. I completely understand what you mean Paul. The next 69th Street train is arriving. Please stand behind the yellow line. Is that the train you're getting on Paul? Yup, it sure is Natalie. My home is very close to Sirocco Station. Hey uh, Paul, I'm really gonna miss you so much now. You've literally been one of the only people that's been there for me when I've needed it the most. I sure hope you and Teddy have a fun time reuniting back home as I'm sure you'll be very excited to see you. What? Oh my god, Natalie, is something wrong? What made you start crying all of a sudden? Well Paul, I know I haven't told you this, but I actually don't have a home, you see? Life has not been going so well for me throughout the past 8 years. Javier, who was my boyfriend, passed away back in 2016 after he accidentally choked on some grapes. I miss him more every day and I've been so alone ever since. You actually remind me a lot of Javier because you look so much like him Paul. The only difference is really is he had black hair instead of light brown hair, and he was also from Mexico. Oh my god, I'm so sorry to hear that Natalie, that sounds awful. After hearing everything you just told me, I started thinking of a really great idea that you'll definitely really appreciate a lot, so, this is what my idea is. What Paul? I just can't believe you're actually gonna let me stay with you and Teddy. You're certainly one lucky guy. But are you sure that Teddy will be okay with me staying here though? I won't stay long or anything, like maybe I'll just come and say hi and be on my way if he's not okay with this. Oh don't worry Natalie, just come on, Teddy will understand on why you're gonna start staying with us. He's going to become a teenager next month so he's at a good age to start understanding situations like this. Well, okay then, if you say so Paul, I guess I'll go ring your doorbell right now so Teddy can answer the door. Oh my god, yeah. Yay, you're finally back home now, Daddy. I really missed you so much. But wait a second, who is this woman with you? Well, Teddy, this is Natalie, the lady who I traveled back to Calgary with. 
and Natalie, this is my son Teddy who I've been telling you lots about on our crazy journey back home. Well, hey there Teddy, it's nice to meet you. I'm Natalie, the lady who accompanied your dad back to Calgary. I'm sure you've probably heard a little bit about me from him. Yeah, hey there Natalie, it's nice to meet you too. I wasn't even expecting to meet you at all because, I mean like, shouldn't you be back at your own place right now instead of here? Well Teddy, I probably should have notified you about this before I got home, but Natalie is actually gonna be staying with us for a while because she's currently been going through a really sad and difficult situation. Yeah. That's right Teddy, I've been going through a pretty hard and difficult life since 2016, but I don't want to talk about it because I get very sad and emotional thinking about it. Oh, okay then, but anyways, come on in Daddy and Natalie, you can stay for as long as you want Natalie because I'd love to have you as my new stepmommy.